So sometimes you'll be asked to solve linear inequalities in two variables. So I have three examples here. In the first two, you'll see that there's actually only one variable in each of them. But we know that we're talking about two variables because I have the xy axis drawn. You'll just have to get it in context, and hopefully it will be clear. So I'm going to pull in a bunch of stuff as we go here. We read this. We want all the x's less than 3. All, anything that falls into that category is in my solution set. So I start by graphing the line x equals 3. So we'll remember from our line section that this is a vertical line. It goes through x equals 3, which is right here. But before I start graphing, I want to look at this symbol. Less than or greater than symbols get dotted lines versus greater than or equal to or less than or equal to, those get solid lines. So this is a less than, so it's going to get a dotted line. And then we use shading to indicate the solution set. So the dotted says, not these guys, but x is less than that. So less than goes to the left. So any x is over here, any point in this shaded region has an x that's less than 3. So this shaded section represents the solution set. So we shade the solution set. So looking at the next one, we need the y's that are greater than or equal to negative 2. So again, I start by graphing y equals negative 2. So if I have a line that's just y, I should have done that in red. OK, I'll we'll go in red here. It's all above it. So that's the solution set. My last example actually has x's and y's. And this is why we reviewed graphing equations of lines before because I have to get this line sketched so that I know where to shade. It's set up in slope-intercept form, so I graph those by starting at my y-intercept of negative 3, and then I'm going to count off a slope. So I'm going to go up 4, 2, 3, 4, over 1, and I'll do that one more time, and I'll get some points on my line, and it looks like I'm going to have to make one of my points a little bit bigger so they all fall. There we go. And it's solid line because it's less than or equal to. Now I have to decide where to shade. So I can decide either by looking at the inequality and saying, OK, I want the y's that are less than the y's on the line. So that means it's everybody down here. Another way that you can do it is you can choose a point that you know which side of the line it falls on. For instance, in this one, the origin, I know for sure, is to the left of that line, or technically above the line that I've drawn. So if I check 0, 0 into my equation, so it, or inequality, a 0 in for the y, is 0 less than or equal to 4 times x, x is also being played by 0, minus 3, it's a question, is 0 less than or equal to negative 3? No, negative 3 is less than. Since the origin doesn't work, the origin is not in my solution set, so I shade the other side, which I had done. So it's this stuff to the right of my line that is the solution set. That's the answer. The shading is the answer.